be honest, your transparent lace be ashy. Let me show you how I got mine to lay like this. And don't say, oh, you just got a whole bunch of baby hair on it. Because this side don't have no baby hair and it was Meltiana. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick around. I think this video is going to be a good watch for you. Okay, so girl, let me tell you, Allie Gray sent me this 30-inch wig. Yes, I love long hair. And as you can see, this lace is white. It's very much giving transparent, and it's a lace front wig, so the parting space off to the sides is very limited. I had to finesse this side part because I was a desperado. It comes with straps on the inside, which I love. And I don't know if you know this, but you're supposed to hook them up in these little loops here. But I end up fastening them together just to get the front of my hairline to lay even flatter. And girl too white but i love that i got a medium sized cap i'm gonna tell you why in a second the first thing that i have to do is clean off the front of my like the skin in front of the ball cap because for the purposes of these videos i do my makeup first and if i want my wig to stick i gotta clean the makeup off before i go in with glue and don't be like me why did i use so much glue you need to have enough glue to lay down in the area that you're working with that the area that you're working in and i was working in the middle but i had excess glue that i end up applying it off to the sides but i get the layer of glue as thin and as even as possible with the tail of my rat tail comb i do two layers and this is a trick to, to lay down your transparent lace to melt it you got to use foundation that's darker than you my perfect skin is 330 and i mix 334 and 338 so that's like way darker than me but that's the only way if you use your perfect foundation it's still gonna be ashy so this is why i was saying i love that i ordered a medium sized cap do you see how much space i had like i'm not tugging i'm not pulling i'm simply positioning the wig where I want it to be and I'm taking my comb ever so lightly and I'm combing that lace in so that it could start to melt down before I tie it down but it's no struggle there's no pulling there's nothing and I don't even have to worry about the other side moving out of place as I'm laying down this side because this medium cap is just so easy to work with now i only want medium size caps i don't want small clearly i could do small but i don't want it i want medium is just so much easier especially if you're a beginner make sure you get like a wig that has enough space so that it could just fall into place where it needs to be but after 10 minutes of blow drying it i took my band off and i was just checking to see if the edges was secure and it was so now i can start cutting the excess lace i did bring out the middle of the lace a little bit more past the glue so that's why i'm parting out excess hair and i'm cutting it off because this is not laying down in any glue and that's fine because when i pluck i pluck far back enough so that if i do cut some hair it's still a hairline behind the hair that i cut like it's still plucked behind the hair that i had to cut i go like four rows deep when i be plucking but it's cool it's all good off to the sides though i think i did apply the wig perfectly so i matched the hairline right on top of the glue so i did not have to part out no excess hair right here to cut out because the lace was laid down right where the hairline started right here So now as I was getting closer to my sideburns, um, I did have to end up cutting like some hair off because the lace still like when I cut off this first piece of lace like right here, I was brushing the hairline back and as you can see I still see some edges lifting and before I go in and put more glue right here when I don't need this lace anyway I rather just cut it off and if I have to cut off lace that has hair on it I always part the hair out first and then I cut because it just looks neater to me that way and I can see what I'm doing to cut out my ears I part right on top of my ear the shape of my ear and then I cut the lace out in that shape so that my ear could comfortably pop out and the lace could comfortably lay down behind my ear because if not the lace rubbing up against your ear for a few days, few weeks, however long you keep your wig on, it could cause little cuts on top of your ear and it actually really hurts throughout the day if you don't cut enough lace off from on top of your ear. So I'm just speeding up these clips right here on this side because it's the same thing that I did on the other side pretty much and I know y'all don't really pay attention very well as I'm speaking right now. You probably scrolling on tiktok or looking off into the sunset or doing anything but paying attention to me so we're gonna move as fast as we can i noticed that this ear tab was tripping so before i went in and i cut it to make sure that i didn't cut too much lace i laid it back down 
in the position that I want it to be in added some more glue laid it back down and then I cut the excess so now I'm going in and I'm just hot combing my hairline back this is another part of melting transparently sometimes when you put that makeup on before you put it in the glue it's still ashy so you got to go in with excess foundation and lightly tap it along the hairline I took some spritz and I sprayed the baby hair comb and I was brushing my hairline back so I could double melt it. And then this ear tab wanted to start acting crazy so I had to add some more glue under that piece. Lay it back down and then go back to making sure that every single strand of hair is out the way before I double melt the front of my lace. Double melting is essential and you gotta hurry up and put this silk band on immediately after you spray that hairspray because if you apply moisture to a wig too soon before it's melted, 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 it's going to start curling up on you and sliding back. And I don't have time. So I be having my bands on standby. I blow dried it for another 10 minutes and boom, the transparent lace is giving HD at this point, ain't it? So I'm strapping my little straps in the back. I told y'all that helps no ripples be in the front. It helps the hairline lay down as flat as possible in and now. And then now we could get into styling. So when I do these light side parts on myself, I need a C-shaped part. I need it to be a perfect C-shaped part. And you already see me getting into the tracks in the back because I told y'all it's not much parting space on this wig. But I told y'all I was desperado. And this hair was all over the place. I couldn't see what I was doing. So, so I could start like molding it in place, like getting it to lay down. I applied some wax and I hot combed that wax in so that now that that hair so now that the hair is laying kind of flat or flat enough i could actually see the part and i could go ahead and perfect my little c-shaped curve or whatever and i don't want to apply too much wax on my hair today i don't want a waxy waxy look so in order to get my hair flat today i'm using mousse and i'm just applying that all over the top of this hair and then i blow dry it until it's completely dry and that's gonna be so flat so the um, lay down the hair that's covering the tracks in the back. I spritzed it and then I blow dry the spritz. I blow dry. Then I can't talk. I blow dry the spritz down so that it could be still. And then I parted out my swoop and I hot combed it forward. And I parted out my sideburn and I hot combed it forward. I cut my swoop going in a diagonal line and then I apply gel only to the roots. This is the got to be gel in the yellow bottle. And then I applied mousse to all of it. And I do not know why I took this big behind comb to swoop my swoop. It was not working. You need a fine tooth baby hair comb. That's the only way that I could get it to look good. And then I just started to swoop it. And you know, I like to swoop the swoop into the rest of the hair so that you can't tell where the swoop starts or where it stops. And I'm the type, if I feel like this product these products are starting to dry out on me and I still don't like the shape of my swoop I will go in with some more mousse so that I could get the hair back movable and I will keep swooping and swooping until I'm happy I don't like to rush when I do my hair I don't like to rush when I do anything I don't like to be in a rush I don't like to wake up fast I don't even walk fast I don't do nothing fast so I take my time with everything that I do just to make sure that I'm happy and then I apply some mousse on this area of the hair so that it could lay flat nicely tucked behind my ear mousse will help you lay a lot of things like mousse will help you um, mold a lot of things honestly but um, I plucked some hair out of my sideburn and I was on TikTok on some hairstylist page and in the comments some girl was like oh I cannot understand why y'all be plucking baby hair when y'all could just um, part out less and I was like dang I wonder if my subscribers have that question too so the part needs to be parted a certain way like it needs to be parted a certain way I can't just part out less hair or else it's not gonna look right the part has for me it has to stop like right at the top of my ear not at the spot where people be getting piercings at at the sideburn area so I'm a part how much I'm apart and then I'm a pluck if I need to thin it out some I hope that makes sense probably not but girl I was on a struggle bus I parted out a little bit more hair right here on top of my sideburns to try to get this part to curve and I honestly just finessed it for like five minutes until I could get it to look right 
I took the slightest, like, I mean, I grazed the top of my head with a little bit of wax and then I hot combed it in. And that's how I got the top so flat like that, barely no products. And then I pushed my hairline back with some spritz on my baby hair comb. I took the back of my hot comb and dried the product in. You know, I like the clean hairline look. I flat ironed the hair and I was done, y'all. I love a deep side part so much. I feel like it makes me look younger than the middle part for some reason. But I forgot that I had to take my concealer and I traced that line like doing stippling motions I traced the line just to make the part pop out a little bit more and I was done I love this hairstyle on me so much I appreciate y'all watching let me know how you feel about it in the comments if you have any questions feel free to ask me but check out Ellie Grace all of the information will be in my description box along with all the products that I use again thank you so much for watching like this video if you liked it and I will see you next time bye